removing and replacing parts. HP Split 13 G100X2 Tools you need. To remove and replace parts in this device, you should ideally have the following tools on hand. An anti-static wrist strap. A Phillips screwdriver. A flat bladed pry tool. Long nose pliers. A flathead screwdriver. A torque screwdriver. A triangular pry tool. A pair of tweezers. Thermal grease and cleaning alcohol. A suction cup. A cuticle stick. A sim tray eject pin. How to replace the bottom cover. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Removal. Remove the four thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws along the front edge of the bottom cover. Carefully peel up and remove the two rear rubber feet. Remove the two thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws found under the rubber feet. Carefully pry apart the bottom cover from the top cover. Note, use of a shroud separation tool may be necessary. Remove the bottom cover. Replacement. Align the bottom cover with the top cover and press along the edges to snap it closed. Replace the two thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws in the empty rubber feet compartments. Replace the two rubber feet and press to adhere them to the bottom cover. Replace the four thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws along the front edge of the bottom cover. Continue the reassembly. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the keyboard base battery. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover. Removal. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Carefully lift both display panel cables out of the routing channels in the battery. Note, if present, peel up any grounding tape over the battery. Remove the four thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift and remove the keyboard base battery. Replacement. Place the battery into the top cover over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the four thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the battery to the top cover. Replace both display panel cables into the routing channels in the battery. Note. Replace any grounding tape that was peeled up earlier. Connect the battery cable to the system board. Continue the reassembly. Replace the bottom cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place.
How to replace the hard disk drive. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover. If the hard disk drive has a mylar covering extending under the keyboard base battery, the keyboard base battery must first be removed. If not, then just disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal Disconnect the hard disk drive cable from the hard disk drive assembly. Note, there are two types of hard drives and connectors. Your hard disk drive and connector may differ from the one depicted here, but the procedure is the same. Remove the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hard disk drive assembly to the top cover. If present, carefully peel up the extension of the Mylar covering from the battery bay. Remove the four thick 4 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the hard disk drive to the hard disk drive bracket. Lift and remove the hard disk drive from its bracket. Place the hard disk drive in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the hard disk drive from the static dissipative bag. Place the hard disk drive into the hard disk drive bracket aligning the screw holes on the sides. Replace the four thick 4 mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the hard disk drive to the hard disk drive bracket. With a label side up, place the hard disk drive assembly into the top cover with the bracket tabs and screw holes aligned. If peeled up earlier, Press down to re-adhere the Mylar extension in the battery bay. Replace the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the hard disk drive assembly to the top cover. Connect the hard disk drive cable to the hard disk drive assembly. Note, there are two types of hard drives and connectors. Your hard disk drive and connector may differ from the one depicted here, but the procedure is the same. Continue the reassembly. Replace the bottom cover and, if removed, the keyboard base battery. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the touchpad assembly. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the touchpad ZIF connector on the touchpad board and remove the touchpad ribbon cable. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the six thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad assembly to the top cover. Lift the touchpad assembly out of the top cover Replacement. Place the touchpad assembly into the top cover over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the six thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the touchpad assembly to the top cover. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the touchpad ZIF connector on the touchpad board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. 
Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the bottom cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the right I.O. board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover and keyboard base battery. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the I.O. ZIF connector on the right I.O. board and remove the I.O. ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the three thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right I.O. board to the top cover. Carefully lift the right I.O. board just enough to turn it over and access two connectors underneath. Disconnect the hard disk drive cable from the right I.O. board. Disconnect the right display panel cable from the right I.O. board. Lift the right I.O. board out of the top cover and place it in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the right I.O. board from the static dissipative bag. Connect the right display panel cable to the right I.O. board. Connect the hard disk drive cable to the right I.O. board. Tow the right I.O. board external connectors into the cutouts in the side of the top cover. While being careful not to pinch any cables, lower the right I.O. board into the top cover over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the three thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the right I.O. board to the top cover. Insert the I.O. ribbon cable into the I.O. ZIF connector on the right I.O. board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Replace the keyboard base battery and bottom cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the left I.O. board. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover and keyboard base battery. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the touchpad ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and remove the touchpad ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the I.O. ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and remove the I.O. ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the four thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left I.O. board to the top cover. Carefully lift the left I.O. board just enough to turn it over and access the left display panel connector underneath. Disconnect the left display panel cable from the left I.O. board. Lift the left I.O. board out of the top cover and place it in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the left I.O. board from the static dissipative bag. Connect the left display panel cable to the left I.O. board.
tow the left I.O. board external connectors into the cutouts in the side of the top cover, while being careful not to pinch any cables. Lower the left I.O. board into the top cover over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the left I.O. board to the top cover. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the I.O. ribbon cable into the I.O. ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the touchpad ZIF connector on the left I.O. board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Replace the keyboard base battery and bottom cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the hinge assembly? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover, keyboard base battery, right I.O. board, and left I.O. board. Removal. Remove the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws, two from each hinge, that secure the hinge assembly to the top cover. Lift and remove the hinge assembly. Replacement. Place the hinge assembly into the top cover over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws, two in each hinge, to secure the hinge assembly to the top cover. Continue the reassembly. Replace the left I.O. board, right I.O. board, keyboard base battery, and bottom cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the top cover and keyboard? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the bottom cover, keyboard base battery, hard disk drive, right I.O. board, left I.O. board, and hinge assembly. Removal. Note. Once all of the before you begin components have been removed, what remains is the top cover and keyboard. The replacement top cover and keyboard include an installed touchpad. Replacement. Replace all of the components removed earlier. How to replace the back cover. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Removal. Carefully peel up the speaker mesh from the bottom front of the slate to access the screws below.
Remove the four thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the back cover to the slate enclosure. Carefully pry apart the back cover from the slate enclosure. Note, use of a shroud separation tool may be necessary. Remove the back cover. Replacement. Align the back cover with a slate enclosure and press along the edges to snap it closed. Replace the four thin 4mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the back cover to the slate enclosure. Carefully replace the speaker mesh into place along the bottom front of the slate. Continue the reassembly. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the wireless LAN module? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Remove the thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the slate enclosure and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Place the wireless LAN module in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and remove it from the static dissipative bag. Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, Gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Press the wireless LAN module down and replace the thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the wireless LAN module to the slate enclosure. Reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Important. Connect antenna labeled 1 to terminal 1 and antenna labeled 2 to terminal 2. Caution. Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the MSATA flash cache module? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Remove the thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M SATA flash cache module to the slate enclosure and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the M SATA flash cache module by the edges and pull gently to remove it.
place the mSATA flash cache module in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Grasp the mSATA flash cache module by the edges and remove it from the static dissipative bag. Align the notch in the mSATA flash cache module with the key in the mSATA flash cache module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the mSATA flash cache module into its slot on the system board. Press the mSATA flash cache module down and replace the thin 2.5 mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the mSATA flash cache module to the slate enclosure. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the wireless WAN module? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless WAN module. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless WAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Remove the thin 2 mm broadhead P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless WAN module to the slate enclosure and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless WAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Place the wireless WAN module in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Grasp the wireless WAN module by the edges and remove it from the static dissipative bag. Align the notch in the wireless WAN module with the key in the wireless WAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless WAN module into its slot on the system board. Press the wireless WAN module down and replace the thin 2 mm broadhead P1 Phillips head screw to secure the wireless WAN module to the slate enclosure. Reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless WAN module. Important: Connect antenna labeled 5 to terminal 5 or main, and antenna labeled 6 to terminal 6 or AUX GPS. Caution: Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless WAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the slate battery? Caution! Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Removal. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Remove the four thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the slate battery to the slate enclosure. Remove the three thin 2 mm broadhead P1 Phillips head screws that secure the slate battery to the slate enclosure. Remove the slate battery. Replacement. Place the slate battery into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the three thin 2 mm broadhead P1 Phillips head screws to secure the slate battery to the slate enclosure. 
replace the four thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the slate battery to the slate enclosure. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Continue the reassembly. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the volume board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, Slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the volume board ZIF connector on the volume board and remove the volume board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the volume board to the slate enclosure. Lift the volume board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure. Place the volume board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the volume board from its static dissipative bag. Place the volume board into its compartment in the slate enclosure, over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the volume board to the slate enclosure. Insert the volume board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the volume board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the webcam module? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Carefully peel up the grounding tape that covers much of the webcam module. Carefully pry up the webcam module out of its compartment just enough to gain access to the camera cable underneath. Disconnect the camera cable from the webcam module. Remove the webcam module and place it in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the webcam module from its static dissipative bag. Connect the camera cable to the webcam module. Turn the webcam module over and place the webcam module into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pins. Replace the grounding tape that was peeled up during removal. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the proximity sensor board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. 
Disconnect the proximity sensor board cable from the proximity sensor board. Remove the thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the proximity sensor board to the slate enclosure. Lift the proximity sensor board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Place the proximity sensor board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the proximity sensor board from its static dissipative bag. Place the proximity sensor board into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pin and screw hole. Replace the thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the proximity sensor board to the slate enclosure. Connect the proximity sensor board cable to the proximity sensor board. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the power button board. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the power button board ZIF connector on the power button board and remove the power button board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the power button board to the slate enclosure. Lift the power button board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Place the power button board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Remove the power button board from its static dissipative bag. Place the power button board into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pin and screw hole. Replace the thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the power button board to the slate enclosure. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the power button board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the touchscreen control board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the touchscreen control board ZIF connector on the touchscreen control board and remove the touchscreen control board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently lift up on the locking bars on the touchscreen dual ZIF connectors on the touchscreen control board and remove the dual touchscreen ribbon cables. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Carefully pry up the touchscreen control board held in place by double-sided adhesives. Place the touchscreen control board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the touchscreen control board from its static dissipative bag. Insert the dual touchscreen ribbon cables into the dual ZIF connectors on the touchscreen control board.
and gently press down on the dual ZIF connector locking bars. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Insert the touchscreen control board ribbon cable into the remaining ZIF connector on the touchscreen control board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Position the touchscreen control board into its compartment in the slate enclosure, bounded by short guide rails. Gently press the board down to help it adhere onto the slate enclosure. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the NFC board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the tiny ZIF connector on the NFC board but do not remove the NFC antenna ribbon cable yet. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the remaining ZIF connector on the NFC board and remove the NFC board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Starting at the edge near the audio board, Carefully pry up the NFC board, held in place by double-sided adhesive. Note, it may be necessary to remove the slate battery to gain enough leverage to remove the board without damaging it. Carefully lift the NFC board away from the NFC antenna ribbon cable to separate it from the ribbon cable. Place the NFC board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the NFC board from its static dissipative bag. Insert the NFC antenna ribbon cable into the tiny ZIF connector on the NFC board and gently press down on the tiny ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Position the NFC board into its compartment in the slate enclosure. Insert the NFC board ribbon cable into the remaining ZIF connector on the NFC board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Gently press the board down to help it adhere onto the slate enclosure. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the audio board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, Slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the outer locking bar on the NFC ZIF connector on the audio board and remove the NFC board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. 
gently lift up on the locking bar on the audio ZIF connector on the audio board and remove the audio board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the speaker cable from the audio board. Remove the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the audio board to the slate enclosure. Lift the audio board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Place the audio board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the audio board from its static dissipative bag. Place the audio board into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the audio board to the slate enclosure. Connect the speaker cable to the audio board. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the audio board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the NFC board ribbon cable into the NFC ZIF connector on the audio board and gently press down on the ZIF connector outer locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the vibrator module? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Disconnect the vibrator module cable from the docking board. Carefully pry the vibrator module up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Replacement. Insert the vibrator module into its compartment in the slate enclosure. Connect the vibrator module cable to the docking board. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the docking board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Disconnect the vibrator module cable from the docking board. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the smaller ZIF connector on the docking board and remove the smaller docking board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the home LED cable from the docking board. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the larger ZIF connector on the docking board and remove the larger docking board ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the docking board to the slate enclosure. Lift the docking board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Place the docking board in a static dissipative bag. 
replacement. Remove the docking board from its static dissipative bag. Place the docking board into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the docking board to the slate enclosure. Insert the larger docking board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the docking board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the home LED cable to the docking board. Insert the smaller docking board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the docking board and gently press down on the ZIF connector outer locking bar. Important! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the vibrator module cable to the docking board. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the SIM card reader board? Caution! Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the ZIF connector on the SIM card reader board and remove the SIM card reader board ribbon cable. Important! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the SIM card reader board to the slate enclosure. Lift the SIM card reader board up and out of its compartment in the slate enclosure and remove. Place the SIM card reader board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement. Remove the SIM card reader board from its static dissipative bag. Place the SIM card reader board into its compartment in the slate enclosure over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the SIM card reader board to the slate enclosure. Insert the SIM card reader board ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the SIM card reader board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the speakers? Caution! Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, Slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Slate battery. Audio board. Docking board. And SIM card reader board. Removal. Remove the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws, one in each speaker, that secures the speakers to the slate enclosure. Carefully lift each speaker out from under the slate enclosure frame and off of their alignment pins. While taking note of the cable path for later replacement, remove the speaker cable from the routing channel in the slate enclosure. Remove the speakers. Replacement Place each speaker into the slate enclosure 
under the slate enclosure frame and over the alignment pins and screw holes. Replace the two thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the speakers to the slate enclosure. Route the speaker cable into the routing channel in the slate enclosure. Continue the reassembly. Replace the SIM card reader board, docking board, audio board, slate battery, and back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the display EDP cable. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover and slate battery. Removal. Disconnect the display EDP cable from the system board. Carefully lift the adhesive tape that secures the display cable to the slate enclosure. Carefully rotate up the thin metal locking latch that holds the connector in place. Disconnect the display cable from the touch screen panel and remove. Replacement. Connect the display cable to the touch screen panel. Carefully rotate down the thin metal locking latch to hold the connector in place. Press down on the adhesive tape to secure the display cable to the slate enclosure. Connect the display EDP cable to the system board. Continue the reassembly. Replace the slate battery and back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the real-time clock battery? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. If the unit includes the foil-thin copper cover over the heatsink, peel back the copper cover just enough to provide access to the real-time clock battery. Disconnect the real-time clock battery cable from the system board. Carefully take the real-time clock battery cable out from under the heatsink shielding. Carefully pry up the real-time clock battery and lift it out from under the lip of the heatsink shielding and remove. Replacement. Connect the real-time clock battery cable to the system board. Carefully guide the real-time clock battery cable under the heatsink shielding as you position the real-time clock battery under the lip of the heat sink shielding. Gently press down on the real-time clock battery to help it adhere into position in the slate enclosure. If peeled back earlier, carefully fold the foil-thin copper covering back over the real-time clock battery. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place.
How to replace the heat sink? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Removal. Note, two types of copper covering over the heatsink are in use with this unit. The original version uses a slightly thicker copper cover that should not be removed from the heatsink itself. A newer version uses a foil thin copper cover that can be peeled off the heatsink prior to removal and replaced with a new copper cover upon reinstallation. Fully loosen the three captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. If the copper covering is adhered to the small metal boxes on the system board, carefully and gently pry up the copper cover off of the small metal boxes on the system board. Carefully lift the heat sink with attached copper cover up off of the system board. Note, due to the adhesive nature of the thermal material, located between the CPU and the heat sink. Firm exertion may be required to remove the heat sink. Replacement Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal material should be replaced. The thermal material should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Carefully remove the old thermal grease from the heat sink and processor with an alcohol swab. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply the proper amount of thermal grease to the center of the processor and chip set. Carefully position the heat sink over the processor, aligned over the screw holes. Tighten the three captive P1 Phillips head screws to secure the heat sink to the system board. If applicable, apply a new foil thin copper cover over the heat sink. Continue the reassembly. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the system board? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover, slate battery, MSATA flash cache module, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module, and heat sink. Removal. In turn, Gently lift up on the locking bar on each ZIF connector on the system board and remove the following ribbon cables. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Touch screen control board. Power button board. Smaller docking board. Audio board. Larger docking board. SIM card reader board. Volume board. Disconnect the following cables from the system board. Real-time clock battery cable. Display EDP cable. Camera cable. Proximity Sensor Board Cable Remove the three thin 1.5 mm P0 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the slate enclosure. Starting at the large end, lift the system board up and off of the slate enclosure to remove. Replacement Place the system board into position aligned with the screw holes in the slate enclosure.
Replace the three thin 1.5 millimeter P0 Phillips head screws to secure the system board to the slate enclosure. Connect the following cables to the system board. Proximity sensor board cable. Camera cable. Display EDP cable. Real-time clock battery cable. In turn, insert the following ribbon cables into the appropriate ZIF connectors on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bars. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Volume board. SIM card reader board. Larger docking board. Audio board. Smaller docking board. Power button board. Touch screen control board. Continue the reassembly. Replace the heat sink, wireless WAN module, wireless LAN module, M SATA flash cache module, slate battery, and back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include Verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys. How to replace the wireless LAN antennas? Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Note, two types of copper covering over the heatsink are in use with this unit. The original version uses a slightly thicker copper cover and needs to be removed before you begin. A newer version uses a foil-thin copper cover that can be peeled back just enough to provide access to the wireless antenna being removed. Removal Note: Make note of the cable paths for routing the new antenna cables. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Disconnect the proximity sensor board cable from the proximity sensor board. Disconnect the camera cable from the system board. Peel back the grounding tape covering the webcam module and routing channel over the wireless antennas. Remove the appropriate wireless antenna cable from the routing channel. If applicable, peel back the foil-thin copper cover just enough to provide access to the wireless antenna being removed. Remove the antenna by gently peeling it up and away from the slate enclosure. Remove the wireless antenna and cable. Note, both wireless antennas are removed in the same fashion. Replacement. Caution. Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade slate performance. Align the antenna with the guide tabs in the slate enclosure. 
press down to adhere the antenna to the slate enclosure. If peeled back earlier, carefully fold the foil-thin copper covering back over the antenna. Carefully route the wireless antenna cable into the routing channel. Note, both wireless antennas are replaced in the same fashion. Reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Important, connect antenna labeled 1 to terminal 1 and antenna labeled 2 to terminal 2. Caution, use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Damaged cables or connectors can degrade slate performance. Replace the grounding tape covering the routing channel for the wireless antennas and the webcam module. Connect the camera cable to the system board. Connect the proximity sensor board cable to the proximity sensor board. Continue the reassembly. Replace the heat sink. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the wireless one antennas. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover. Disconnect the battery cable from the system board. Remove the wireless WAN module, volume board, and partially remove the wireless LAN antenna that overlaps the wireless WAN antenna cable to be removed. Note, two types of copper covering over the heatsink are in use with this unit. The original version uses a slightly thicker copper cover and needs to be removed before you begin. A newer version uses a foil-thin copper cover that can be peeled back just enough to provide access to the wireless antenna being removed. Removal Note, make note of the cable paths for routing the new antenna cables. Remove the thin 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right speaker to the slate enclosure and partially lift it out to access the wireless antennas. Remove the appropriate wireless antenna cable from the routing channel. If the larger wireless WAN antenna is being removed, also perform the following to access the appropriate antenna cable. Disconnect the proximity sensor board cable from the proximity sensor board. Disconnect the camera cable from the system board. Peel back the grounding tape covering the webcam module and routing channel over the wireless antennas. Remove the antenna by gently peeling it up and away from the slate enclosure. Remove the wireless antenna. Note, both wireless WAN antennas are removed in the same fashion. But note that a wireless LAN antenna needs to be partially removed to be able to remove a wireless WAN antenna. Replacement Caution! Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade slate performance. Align the wireless WAN antenna with the guide tabs in the slate enclosure. Press down to adhere the antenna to the slate enclosure. Carefully route the wireless WAN antenna cable into the routing channel.
reposition the partially removed right speaker into position in the slate enclosure and replace the thin 3mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the right speaker to the slate enclosure. If the larger wireless WAN antenna was replaced, also perform the following to complete the replacement of its antenna cable. Replace the grounding tape covering the routing channel for the wireless antennas and the webcam module. Connect the camera cable to the system board. Connect the proximity sensor board cable to the proximity sensor board. If peeled back earlier, carefully fold the foil-thin copper covering back over the antenna. Continue the reassembly. Replace the wireless LAN antenna that overlaps the wireless WAN antenna cable. Replace the volume board, wireless WAN module, and heat sink. Reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Replace the back cover. Align and lower the slate onto the keyboard base until it locks into place. How to replace the touch screen assembly. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, slide the release lever and separate the slate from the keyboard base. Remove the back cover, slate battery, wireless LAN module, wireless WAN module, MSATA flash cache module, volume board, webcam module, proximity sensor board, power button board, touchscreen control board, NFC board, audio board, vibrator module, docking board, SIM card reader board, speakers, display EDP cable, real-time clock battery, heatsink, system board, wireless LAN antennas, and wireless WAN antennas. Note, once all of the before you begin components have been removed, what remains is the touchscreen assembly. Replacement. Replace all of the components removed earlier. Find more helpful videos on our HP Support YouTube channel.